do 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 everything to copy medical disclaimer hey folks present will here uh noting that these episodes of everything to copy were recorded during the portland poison cloud uh please do not jam these episodes anywhere they will make you very sick thank you Hello, Hello and welcome to uh, oh, no Gary well, Butterfield. It's your not your week intro thing. Episode. Confused I me. I mean, there's been a lot of disruptions to the structure. Hello, my name is William Hughes. This is Everything to Guppy, the show where we do the thing. I'm joined as always by a guy who passes every purity test. Gary Butterfield. Your intro is better. Then what? So, I was going to say a man who's concerned with purity, but not in the bad way that you think. I mean, that's good too, Gary. They Thank can you. live together. They can coexist in peace and harmony. That's the whole point. And we should uh, release the, the stems for this episode and have a contest where listeners can edit in the intro they like best. Yeah. Radio lab that shit up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, this podcast, the most radio lab thing there is. Yeah. Ding, just ding, 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 ding. Purity. Ding, ding, ding. Gary, would it be, boy, Gary, now that we've done that, the mm-hmm. idea of it, like introducing, having a little bit where we do, you do a musical thing and I just do the most like soothing purity. Ding. 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 Farting Ding. baby. Ding. 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 Isaac shit rack. Ding. Ding. Boom. Hungy Joe. <laughs> uh, I'll have to get my vibraphone out of the shop. I mean, Gary, so- I don't know why you ever put it in the shop. I, well, it's broken. <laughs> it's like that old Mitch Hedberg joke. Fib- Vibraphones never broken. It's just temporarily, uh, I don't know, cowbell. No, they can break. <laughs> it's an instrument. Uh, purity, though, is not an instrument. It's an item in the Binding of Isaac series of video games. My name is Gary Butterfield. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Gary offering up the fabled third stem. Uh, this is good and interesting. I uh, yeah. I, I agree. I think this op- operates in a really cool space. This is purity. Uh, you unlock this by defeating Hush with Maggie. Uh, mm-hmm. Probably the best Maggie unlock. I'd have to, you know, it's let's been a while since character that. Sunday. Let's, uh, let's fact check it. I don't know. She's actually got some pretty Dude. good. She got, you know, the sensor, uh, Eucharist. The relic. Uh, yeah. Uh, Maggie gets a lot of good unlocks. Yeah. Uh, this is one of them. This is one of them truly this is an item in the Binding of Isaac series of video games we can no see that much at least if someone tries to fucking say that it's not i cut you yep have uh jim carrey have them killed yeah um tell us what this does well <laughs> i know it does i just did the last two I, it, <laughs> you can do it this time <laughs> i want to drink some water man my throat hurts poison cloud <laughs> yes capitan all right. Purity is a flower. Uh, it's a white flower. Uh, the description is Aura Stat Boost. And when you pick it up, it sticks a big flower on Isaac's head. It also gives him a glow. Mm. You got the touch. Glow um, What, Gary? Nothing. So you got, you, got, you got vocal room for Night Vale references, but not to do your goddamn job. <laughs> That's not explaining the item, Will. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm sorry, Alex. Uh, so there are one of four. Can you four... explain the rest of this item in the form of questions? Uh, Gary, what would happen if there were one of four auras that you, uh, could generate around Isaac? And also as a follow-up question, what, what if one was red and gave Isaac a huge fucking damage boost? Uh, what if another was blue, uh, and gave a really massive, uh, tear boost? Mm-hmm. What if, uh, and then what if there were two other colors that you don't care when those happen? Uh, but Gary? Mm-hmm. Would you care to contemplate uh, what would happen if, with this item, the auras only lasted until you took a hit, and then they regenerated the next room, which means if you didn't like an aura, for instance, the ones that boost speed or range, uh, you could just take a hit and wait for the next good one to show up. I think that'd be awesome. This item kicks ass, unless you're the lost. In which case, it's you just hope you initially got a good one. Yeah. You can, you can uh, because... The holy mantle thing will stop it from changing. Uh, y- yes, it will. It will keep the. You will keep the boost if you're yeah. holy. So you basically have a fifty fifty chance of this being good. Yeah, uh, it's like a sixty forty chance. The speed one's not horrible or anything. 
it's just not as good as the damage of the tier. No. Yeah. Um, so uh, this is one, you know, this is works in that space where you don't want to get hit. There are a couple, there are like one or two items that kind of operate in the space, I feel like. But this mm-hmm. is the big one. Uh, like the key well, thing is that these, this damage boost and this tier delay boost, those, those two auras, red and blue, are amazingly powerful. Yeah. Four is real big. It's four times as good as most tier, you know, damage ups and twice as good as most tier delay ups. Yeah. Um, yeah. And if you do get hit, um, because you can re-roll it by getting hit, you get to like have this fun little, how much health do I want to sacrifice to make up for that mistake? Yeah. Um, it's a bummer when it happens in a room, like you pop into hush with, you know, yeah, you're not going to, you're, you're not going to keep this for most of probably for a big chunk of the hush fight, which is a yeah. bummer. Yeah. But, but it is one of those things where the boot, the buff is so good that maybe you will keep it for a while. Yeah. And it's never bad. You know, it's not like one of those things that has a good side and a downside. It just has a mediocre, you know, a nothing side and a good side. So like for a passive item, this is always absolutely worth your time. And oh yeah, yeah. The the benefit yeah. outweighs the having to worry about getting hit. Uh, yeah. Gary, if people want to play with this item, what uh, seed can they use? Well, before we get into that, we have to do the uh, TCC. We, hey, could probably just do the could probably just do the seed now and then do your fucking thing afterwards. Well, however, uh, Hank constantly deals with the consequences of his inability to say no to temptation while trying to show his family that he can be a responsible, caring father to Becca and a reliable pa- uh, partner to Karen. Okay, is this from just the Wikipedia page? What What did you think we use for those things? We change them every single time. That's every, corner, every corner pulls from a different place. It does. It is. Uh, Kingdom Quantum Hospital Le- and Kingdom Hearts went from the same place. Well, Gary, uh, wouldn't you know it? The only one another that was, one that you masterminded. The only one that is different is uh, Dick, the the QLC. Which is taken from TV Tropes. Uh, and uh, the Slider Corner, QLC. which was the, the, the QLC QLC, which is from that QLC webpage. Yeah. Uh, and the Sliders Corner, which was taken from IMDb Quotes. Well, three of them come from Wikipedia. Uh, now <laughs> you've yeah. previously too. Hey, I have it's set not, current precedent. It's not my fault that I didn't know anything about Californication. <laughs> but we could be going through. I don't know the uh, the Rotten Tomatoes reviews for it. We don't want to know the reviews. We want to know the premise. I kind of want to know <laughs> Rotten Tomatoes. And you could do this bullshit, or you could say the seed. Oh, I'm doing this bullshit, Gary. I always choose the <laughs> bullshit. Me too. Me, me three. Me three. Me the baby. All right, let's see. All right. Season seven. Mm, certified rotten. <laughs> Can't wait to see what trouble that sex maniac gets into now. Yeah, let's go ahead. Critical consensus. Here we go. These are just episode descriptions. Come on, Rotten Tomatoes. Do your thing. Rotten Tomatoes let me down. Here we go. No, we are Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Uh, what makes the complacent ending sting is knowing that Californication was at one point a complex program with dark human undertones and an inventive presentation. That's Ben Travers from IndieWire. Top oh. critic. Thanks. He is, he is one top critic. One top critic. Love that guy. Uh, DKYP. Zero JFY. Masturbate to that. That's ASMR for you. Yeah. Do a, you know, do whatever you need to do, you know? Yeah. If you don't want to, that's quite all right. Yeah. We relinquish all control over uh, your sexual lives. We don't do that anymore. Yeah. We learned our lesson. We, uh, we boy, after the lawsuit. Oh my boy, God. did we learn our lesson. Yeah. People <laughs> were trying to breed and we wouldn't let them. <laughs> Turns out you need cum to make Night Vale, baby. The people versus orgasm controllers. Yeah, and then just a picture of us, like, really confused. <laughs> <laughs> like, a, And then court sketches of us, like, ah. Oh, I, see, I thought we were doing, it would, Gary, uh, real fast, I want you to imagine a photo that's the two of us if we were magicians and it's black and white and our, we're standing back to back. Oh, I like that, too, like Mysterio yeah. sidekicks. Yeah. 
<laughs> Mysterio doesn't do enough come control. Gary, when we can be in the same room again, we should take that picture. <laughs> It'd be really funny. I've got a cape. <laughs> uh if you like the show patreon.com slash duck tv is the best place to go yeah you can uh give some money to the network uh which mm-hmm. supports us doing this stupid fucking shit and will getting a new motherboard yeah and, and a graphics card and a graphics, and a graphics card. card and a smile <gasps> and probably a sandwich mm, no i think i'm gonna give up sandwiches when i'm rich yeah wraps Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm going to move over to crust sandwiches when I'm rich. Just crust? No, no, no. Crust sandwich. It's a portmanteau. Oh, I see. see. Uh, You can also leave us a rating or review. Hi, I'm Chris Sandwich. I'm a (laughs) super ego character. (laughs) I'm Uh, Mark McConville. Yeah, you sound like a Mark McConville character. I think I'm good, dude. Um, I think I'm good, man. (laughs) Full up on McConville's. Yeah, uh, McConville does a good job. He just does it over and over. Um, <laughs> <laughs> sincere, a sincere evaluation of me. Mark McConville dripped into this week of everything to Guppy. Jeremy Carter's enthusiastic, but sometimes he lets his instincts get away from him. Yeah. No, I mean, it, but, it, but it, I like it so much more than the alternative. One of the alternatives. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, this, there's a five star review from uh, Michael Be- Godville. No, yeah. <laughs> I feel like shit. I respect these guys a lot. <laughs> dude, that's a pretty good McConville, dude. I'm, I'm not even doing it on purpose. No, I know, but you sound like a McConville character very much. Like you're doing yeah. a good job. Thanks, man. Now, I mean, you've said it, so it's ruined. Uh, this is from uh, B. Be- <laughs> what Heron do you mean and- it's ruined? Why? Because I, I can't do it now. It'll oh. sound forced. Uh, well, that's grab a good way crab. for it to be ruined. Okay. It's Behe Hendra 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 hen Grab Crab. Behe Hendra 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 Grab Crab. Yeah. Uh, another in a long series of regrettable life choices. Baby Huey and some guy who collects action figures <laughs> review every dum dum, every Tootsie Pop, every single disgusting plastic wrapped lollipop in a glass dish on a bank counter in the state of Oregon before it is destroyed by literal fascist or burns down. That's a great review. It's a really good review. Five stars. It's a really good baby Huey and a man who collects action figures. 40 year old uh, man. Yeah. We were going to record on my birthday, but we didn't. But we didn't. Uh, uh, Night Vale babies. Yeah. No, no baby Huey for Night Vale. Baby Huey do okay at Night Vale probably. They like weird shit. It's like an alternate title for like if we didn't call it <laughs> No Truce of the Furies. We were gonna- <laughs> well, you can name the club that uh, yeah. if you if you start the dance club, you can name it. Oh, no, no, baby I- Huey's for uh, <laughs> you know, for Night Vale. Huey's for Night Vale. <laughs>